All right, we're just switching it up a little bit today, YouTube. We're going to work on the 84 Yamaha YTM 200L. Uh, so the starter, pull starter cover on this is different. I got the OEM uh, wheel here. That is a little bit thicker than this one, so when I put that on, uh, we get a bit of a gap. So I've ordered the new uh, outer case. And with that outer case, there is a compression release valve. Um, so these older, older motorcycles, and that's where the pressure release valve will sit, uh, where that rope is right now. These older motorcycles, uh, you, once you engage that flywheel there, it will use these gears right there to engage another set of gears on the inside this casing here that will pull the uh, compression lever switch cable. Uh, it'll pull the compression lever so that way uh, you can actually turn this thing over. So I'm gonna attempt right now to show you uh, what it is. Hopefully I can get a good camera angle here. Um, I think that's about. All right, so that looks about good right there. So without that compression release cable in, I can turn this on only a little bit before it stops. But once I release that compression, so I did verify that I do have spark, so it's going to be carburetor related. Um, so this looks like to be an aftermarket carb, not the original OEM. Uh, so I'm going to either grab a $35 oh, uh, carburetor off of Amazon and test that out um, just to see. Like I said, I do get spark, so it's, it's, it's got to be fuel at this point, and I'm not trusting that carb. And you know, what, to get a carb cleaning kit is 35 bucks for this thing, if I can find one, if I know what it is. Uh, new carbs for these things off of Amazon at 35 so I think I'm going to go with that route and we'll try that uh, so I thought that was kind of neat though the compression release uh, I did order the cable and all the components for the compression release uh, flywheel uh, so that way when I go to pull start it it will engage and I should be able to pull this thing turn this thing over uh, once the new carb comes in so we'll test that out but uh, there is also another new toy in here and that is this one it's got a plated to uh, 82 Suzuki GS 750T and hoo 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 she's nice uh, gas tanks not original obviously uh, but everything else pretty much is even have the side covers which are so hard to find in the original seat but it does have a rip so uh, other than that though everything else is pretty much stock on that still got the pulley uh, waiting on a carb on that last I heard I'm supposedly July is when it comes uh, nothing wrong with that and we're gonna have to rebuild the engine on that one um, it is throwing a carrier bearing so that means you know, we're gonna have to crack the case open it's gonna be a little later on that uh, YouTube so that's the garage for now I know sorry but a mess uh, I'm just getting out of winter so I will be uh, cleaning this up a little bit better and getting it somewhat in a more presentable tone. Uh, so, yep, thank you very much, YouTube. Stick around. There'll be more coming. Have a great day.